Hi everyone, how's life? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm in Disneyland Paris. I'm in France. I'm close to Disneyland Paris. I'm um, just outside the Vienna Dream Castle Hotel, which is a Disney partner hotel partnered with Disneyland Paris. It's one of my favorite partner hotels here in Disneyland Paris, and it's definitely the one that I've stayed at the most in terms of partner hotels. So I thought I would take you on a little journey through this hotel, show you my room for this day, maybe a little bit of the lobby as well, and just show you some of the things that I love most about this hotel. So I'm just standing outside the hotel at the moment, and it's a pretty big hotel, and you can see it does look indeed like a castle like they weren't joking when they named this hotel Vienna Dream Castle Hotel um, everything about it is very themed to a castle vibe and I, and I absolutely love that and I think if you've got kids in your family who love princes princesses castles that sort of thing they would love it now this is a four-star hotel so it's definitely a slightly more expensive partner hotels than some of the other ones that you can find but I would say that it's worth it so if you don't want to pay the extreme prices of actual Disney because if you want to stay on property on Disney property normally even uh, Cheyenne and Santa Fe would be more expensive than these ones and Cheyenne and Santa Fe are two star hotels whereas obviously this is a four star hotel so you've got the choice and even though I personally do of course love staying on property it's like my favorite thing to do sometimes if i price up the the prices for like santa fe cheyenne which are the cheapest at disneyland paris and then some of the more expensive ones that are partnered with disneyland paris i do find that these ones come up a little bit cheaper than santa fe and cheyenne and especially if you're traveling during like busy periods of time like i'm here at the moment in august of 2021 which is a busy time like a lot of the disneyland paris hotels had very very extreme prices so there was no way i was going to stay on property on this trip um, and that's why I chose to stay here. But yeah, lovely, lovely hotel. I'm gonna show you the entrance in a second as well and then we're gonna go into the lobby. So there you go, this is the outside area, the entrance of Dreamcastle Hotel uh, near Disneyland Paris. It is lovely, it's grand, it's beautiful. I think, yeah, as you look with the like castle-like vibes over there, just looks really, really awesome. And quite peaceful too but that just could be because of the time that i'm filming this now if you want the shuttle buses they do have them free of charge so if you're staying here you do have frequent shuttle buses to and back from disneyland paris and they would normally come here you'd, you'd get them here just outside the main entrance and that's where you would um, be dropped off as well yeah let's go inside now and have a look at the lobby and the room so look how awesome the entrance of Vienna dream castle hotel is i mean the lobby itself the reception area is huge like so so big and you're welcomed by this king over here not sure if he has a name or not maybe he does maybe we can name him leave your comments down below if you want to but yeah he looks quite serious actually and then huh i think there are meant to be lions on the floor yeah it's it's really awesome it's a very grand entrance in my opinion especially for a partner hotel i think it's just so well themed blows my mind every time and then even the little emblem behind me and the main entrance when you come in so cool you also have like a little seating area just to chill in the lobby uh, a couple of vending machines which is nice one of them just sells water bottles and the other one sells snacks so that's cool and then as we move forward there is also like a small children's area and also a gaming room so i'll show them to you in a second so this is the gaming area and as you can see a lovely staff member is currently cleaning it because of covid they're being extra careful with cleaning all the time there's a little hockey table here uh typhoon i think the name of that one is i'm not quite sure and then on the right hand side here which is basically uh, at the front of you when you come into the hotel is this other children's area i guess there's a little carousel for kids over here which is cute to be fair a lot of these disneyland paris partner hotels do have these um, you do have to pay to get on them but i've seen quite a few kids on them in the past few days and every time i've visited here people seem to enjoy them and you've got these cool uh, chandeliers and then you also have this lovely beautiful outside area like i'm not going to go out properly now but you can see it from here this would be some of the restaurants and also you can just come here and have a have a walk have a morning walk maybe just i don't know like there's ping pong tables over there as well i've never seen these before so yeah lovely view peaceful view and again a very very nice way to feel like maybe you're a little bit away from the disney madness and just although you can hear some screaming kids behind me so maybe not so much but yeah let's go back in i did want to quickly show you these soldiers as well that they have 
it feels a little bit like a museum, like almost like Hotel New York Art of Marvel, honestly. Well, maybe not quite, but it is cool that they have these. Again, I'm just, I like themed stuff, and I think this hotel does a very, very good job of themed vibes. Um, these chairs as well are very, very popular with children. Like, you see kids just climbing up them, wanting to feel like a prince or a princess, taking photos. And yeah, it's very, very cute. And then that whole area over there is, of course, the like reception where you would come to check in or check out or any information that you need. This is where you need to come. You can see, hopefully, how huge this area is. Like, this is a big place. This is a big lobby. And I personally love that because obviously at the moment it's not too busy because I'm filming this during the day. But sometimes if you come here, you know, at three, three, four o'clock when a lot of people are checking in, it can get very busy here. So it is nice to have a bit more space. So, yeah. Uh, staff have been very, very helpful here every single time that I visit. And also I love the little backdrop they have as well. Very cool. And they have screens here, TV screens, where they play uh, Disney adverts, Disneyland Paris adverts, because it's a partner hotel. So they want to get you, there you go, you can see the cast members at Disneyland Paris welcoming people. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about Disneyland Paris as well, the staff members here are very, very good at helping you out. Um, and there are shuttle buses, of course, as well. Uh, just outside the lobby this is another kids area in the lobby i've just seen someone's been trying to color in woody and bullseye so that's cute they've got these little cute cushions this little mini horse oh i've just noticed they look like teacups so that's cute and then they've got some more of them over there uh oh table football this is fun and then like you can play pool or billiards over there and you've got that nice view again from the windows honestly I can't like, I don't know if it's coming across, but it's, it's a very, very nice place, this. For a four-star Disney partner hotel, I would say, it's, um, it's really, really nice. They do also have this thing called Disneyland Paris Boutique, which I believe used to be a shop, maybe? But at the moment, it's just kind of turned into a gaming area again. So you've got these, these uh, claw machines that I'm very, very bad at. So, so bad. Let me know if you've ever won anything from these. But yeah, I'm awful. And then they've got like a Minions gaming thing over there an ice hockey area again a horse thing i'm not sure what this does looks pretty fun though to be fair oh you can see one of the shuttle buses come through actually in the background there's a little screen right next to the main entrance which has all the information about the shuttle buses to uh disneyland paris so there you go it says hotels disneyland and from uh, vienna dream castle there are a few other partner hotels around it that also use the same shuttle bus so just bear that in mind if you stay here sometimes your journey might take a bit longer than you think because it might stop at other hotels on the way to Disneyland Paris but there there you go you've got the timings here they are very very frequent and so that's basically it for the lobby area as I said if you want to watch a full tour of this hotel I did do one a couple of years ago so I'll leave that down below the link for it if you want to see that but today I just want to show you things that I really love about this hotel more than anything so let's go up to my room now look at the lifts <laughs> so we've just arrived at level four in the hotel and one of my favorite things about this hotel is actually the fact that they have these vending machines on basically all the levels uh, just outside the lift so when you when you come up to your floor wherever you may be you should have one of these this one actually doesn't have any water bottles left unfortunately but you can always go down and get water if you want to that's not a problem either but they have other snacks and drinks and then again i love the details as well Everything just looks so royal and princessy. And I love princesses, you know, who doesn't? And the floors as well, so I just wanted to show you the hallways. There you go, so look at this. I love the colors, I love the reds and the yellows and the, and the golds and the blues. It just works so well, especially with these on the sides as well. It legitimately, in my opinion, feels like you're walking through a little castle. So yeah, let's go to our room now. On this day, I am staying in room number 4084. It's on the fourth floor, which I always like. For me, the higher, the better, always, in terms of hotel rooms anyway, not just generally speaking. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick room tour as well. I know I've done a full-on tour of the hotel before in one of my videos, and I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out. But it's a different room, and it's been a few years since I've, um, since I've shown you the rooms here, and I just want you to see how incredible rooms are again and exactly why this is one of my favorite Disney partner hotels here in Disneyland Paris. This is my card, Dream Castle. Um, I did actually put this uh, earlier on my door as well, earlier this morning. It just says, do not disturb. 
I think I just forgot to take it off. And then the other side is if you want your room to be cleaned. But um, yeah, it's nice that you have that choice. And then you just go in, bam, and you are in. Let's just close the door. You do have to put your card in to turn all the lights on. I did already turn the lights on because I wanted to prepare for this little room tour that I'm going to be doing. Um, so here you've got some hooks for your clothes and stuff just on your left hand side. You have uh, a wardrobe that has quite a lot of space actually and a safe and a pretty big one at that as well. Like this is a big, big safe and actually it does have some plugs as well at the end, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's the safe. Uh, you have some hangers here. You've got some more storage at the top. Let me close this. And then on the other side, before we get to the main uh, sleeping area, is of course the bathroom. Now again, I've already opened it, I'm sorry. It's a bit of a mess actually. That towel probably shouldn't be on the floor, but it is. But I do enjoy the bathroom. Hello, that's me. And yeah, this is a mirror that you get. Um, you get given this soap as well, which I appreciate a lot. L'Occitane is the name of it. Uh, you get a hairdryer, and you also get given one of these <laughs> mirror things, which I very rarely use, but they're meant to help with like putting a makeup on or, oh, whoops, sorry, I don't wanna break it. Yeah, there you go. Like maybe tweezing your eyebrows and whatnot. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you tend to use these mirrors, like these zoom-in mirrors when you go to hotel rooms or if you even have one in your own house. Um, yeah, the little towel area here, the bin, you get some tissue paper here as well. I love it when they do that, some bathrooms do it and I just think it's very cute to have actual tissue paper as well as toilet paper and stuff. That's just the toilet, nothing special here. This artwork though is definitely special and it's not meant to be the Disney version of Rapunzel because this isn't really a Disney hotel, it's a Disney partner hotel but it's not Disney but it's just meant to be like the fairy tale traditional Rapunzel, I think anyway. Oh maybe it's Princess and the Frog because she's kissing a frog. Lord have mercy that must be, I have no idea what this is actually. <laughs> Again leave a comment down below and let me know, I always assumed it was Rapunzel just because of the hair but her hair's not even that long and there's definitely a frog here so it must be Princess and the Frog. Um, then we've got the bathtub here, some towels over there, and the actual bathtub is pretty nice to be fair. And you get given some like shampoo and conditioner over there as well, chat shower gel and shampoo. And I actually really like the shower head because I like those that you can disconnect and also put there. Like, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of the ones that you can't like move about, and this one you can move about, so I enjoy that. And then that's pretty much more or less it in terms of the bathroom. Let's, let's leave. That was a very, very quick tour of the bathroom. Let's turn the light off. Then before we get to the main room, we've got a full length mirror here. Hello again. I don't look my best to be fair. I've just come back from the parks, had a long day. It was my last day as well. Um, there you go, it is a full length mirror. I am wearing shorts, pajama shorts, so just ignore them. Uh, but yeah, always appreciate a full length mirror, always good for a Disney trip. And then you get to the main room, which this is just kind of what it looks like overall. Pretty awesome, this is a king sized bed. Uh, you can get rooms with two of these beds, but a bit smaller, so like queen sized. Um, and then you've got a bunk bed here as well on the corner. So if you're traveling with kids, they would absolutely love these, like so, so cute. So yeah, this is what the bunk beds look like. They honestly look pretty comfortable to me. Like I feel like I would personally enjoy sleeping on these beds as well. I have been told though that normally speaking they don't like adults sleeping on the top bunk at all. So I think especially if you're above a certain weight, um, they recommend you not to sleep on the top bed. I remember the first time I stayed in this hotel, back in 2016 I want to say with two of my friends, they were very keen to sleep on one of these beds, like the bunk beds, and when we checked in they, we were told that they weren't allowed to do that because we're three adults and these are technically meant to be for kids. Even though I'm sure they will hold up adults, because they're meant to be for kids, like it's just their rules that they won't let you sleep on them if you're an adult. So there you go. <laughs> then we've got the main bed here which honestly is one of the most comfortable beds that I've ever slept on. It's so, so nice. Um, yeah, love it so much. It's really nice to be able to have it to yourself as well because this is a huge bed. I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera. It's a full-on king-sized bed, like way too big for me, but I, I appreciate it a lot. Um, you've got your 
lamps and whatnot on the side, a little plug, but it's just a European one, so you do need an adapter, some more storage area here, and then let me just turn these off so you can see what it looks like. Oh, sorry, I turned off the other one. There you go, that's it turned off. Let's turn it back on. And the other one, and then in the middle, I love, <laughs> just love the face of the sun. Although I did notice earlier that this part of the sun is broken. So that's definitely something that they'll need to fix. I imagine it would be quite a difficult fix because they'll probably just have to, I don't know, they'll just have to replace that bit to be fair. So it might not be that difficult, but yeah the sun's lost one of her rays but it is very very cute and i love these little colorful jewels or diamondy things that they've got going on around it as well if you stay in a room with two beds rather than one so two queen size beds instead of one huge bed you normally would get one bed with the sun on it and the other one would have the moon so if you check out my disneyland paris 2016 vlog from uh, november of that year you would be able to see a room that has two beds because they do have a variety of different rooms in this hotel and that's another thing I love about it. You can find basically anything you want. Here of course we've got, well that's just my laptop, but you've got a, um, a little chair with this cute design. Um, I guess it's meant to look like a cathedral of some sort, a castle. You've got another lamp here and to turn on and off this lamp you use the switch right next to the switches for the bedside lamps. You obviously get your um, phone, that's my room number of course, 4084, I'm just charging my stuff, that's my adapter. No USB plugs like directly but you do have European ones next to your bedsides and then you can just obviously use an adapter and charge your stuff. And then before I show you the view, I thought I'd show you this side of the room as well, which is the TV. To be fair, I did actually turn it on for a little bit last night and I watched some random <laughs> uh, French TV show for about 10-15 minutes and it was quite interesting. Um, you get some space under it and here actually you do have a fridge. So for those of you who really need a fridge in your rooms when you travel, this hotel does provide fridges in its rooms which can be convenient for a lot of people. Oh sorry, <laughs> I just literally apologised for that. What is my life? <laughs> and then here we've got, um, yeah, the little seating area I guess you've got a chair here it's very nice and velvety actually I have to be honest I haven't sat on this at all but uh, you have like a coffee making machine over here all your essentials again I haven't used these but you do have it if you wish to a kettle you can make your tea your coffees etc um, you get another lamp over here and then yeah another mirror I suppose pretty big one at that as well again I don't have mercy and I'll just give you a pan quickly of the room again from this side so you can see what it looks like from here as well. It's a pretty, pretty nice and very spacious room, I would say. For Disney standards anyway, like I know this isn't actually Disney, but in terms of rooms available around Disneyland Paris, uh, I think this is just a very, very good one. Like, look at all the space. It's a lot of space and it just looks awesome as well. I personally just love the wooden work. I love those, of course, but I just overall also appreciate all the wood that this room has. I love this very royal, um, I guess, flag. I don't know what you would call it, but just adds a bit of royalty touch to the room. That's just my suitcase. I need to pack it properly tonight, so ignore that. But this is meant to be for your suitcase, so it's a little area where you can put your suitcase on it. Um, some more storage area as well. And then I thought I'd show you hit this as well. It's basically to control the temperature in your room. So a lot of people get worried about, you know, rooms being too cold or too hot. This room does give you an option to organize whatever temperature you want. So that's good. So yeah, that is basically the room. I would be genuinely very curious to see what you think of this hotel and this room so far. So please do leave your comments down below because for me, this hotel and this room, I guess not this particular room, but generally speaking, the rooms here in this hotel are the ones that I've probably stayed at the most in terms of any of the Disneyland Paris partnered hotels. Um, and I've never been disappointed, like never. It's a four star hotel but I just think it's awesome, the theming that they, they've done with it and just the quality of it, you know, I had room service last night, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the clip right now so you can see what the room service looked like. As you can see, I ordered myself a burger, a cheeseburger and some chips and, you know, it was lovely, it actually tasted very nice for room service food and yeah, like, 
what can I say? It's um, it always brings me joy. Like every time I stay in another partner hotel and then I come back here, like on my next trip or whatever, I realize just how much I genuinely love this hotel. So that's how I know that this hotel is one of my favorites. Before I finish the room tour, though, I do want to show you the view that I have as well. It's not the best view, but it's um, it's not. Nice. So there you go. This is the view. <laughs> it's a view of the car park. To be fair, but. I really don't mind and in the mornings it's really nice to just wake up to I don't even know what to say just like the world um, it's just nice to be on the fourth floor uh, this hotel is quite big so depending on where your room is which part of the hotel you'll obviously have a different uh, view but I'm happy with this view I didn't pay for a view you know all I wanted for it was a higher um, room area so like a higher floor for my room but yeah this is it I'll just show you the room one last time. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, awesome. Like, genuinely speaking, I love it so much. And I think my favorite thing is undoubtedly the sun in the middle. It's just awesome sleeping under a sun or a moon, depending on which bed you're in. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever stayed at the Vienna Dream Castle Hotel here in Disneyland Paris or if you would like to stay here. Um, also, make sure to watch my video from a few years ago because I think in my previous video I probably showed everything a bit more in detail and, you know, there was no mask wearing at the time. It was a bit different, like everything was different. Breakfast was different because it was a full-on buffet and it was life was different in 2018 right so i'll leave the link down below anyway if you would like to check me out from a few years ago why not um and yeah this just shows that even in the past few years of me coming to this hotel visiting it uh, quite a few times like since 2016 i've come quite a few times now and every single time i've loved it i've never had a disappointing stay at all and that's what i love about hotels for me i need a hotel to be consistently good before i can comfortably say oh this is one of my favorite hotels if i've only stayed at a hotel like for one night i don't feel comfortable saying to you like wow this is the best hotel i've stayed at because i just don't think you can get like a very very accurate representation of a hotel with only one night somewhere i think you need to stay for a longer period and also maybe multiple times if you can before you can fully know that this is one of your favorite hotels but that's just me thank you so much for watching this video <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it uh yeah subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one bye